This is the water place. I just pull in, they take my jugs, they sterilize, they put a little, like, rinse them out, bleach them, clean them, which I'm sure they need, because I never do that. And then they bring it back out to me, and four gallons costs 10 pesos, which is about 50 cents, as opposed to 35 cents a gallon in the States. Yay! Gracias. Hola, Javi. <laughs> and that's my spot way over there. I'm gonna go there next. I gotta stop at the office first. This is my 24 by 24 inch crocheted square that is part of a public um, public art installation that is going to happen in Washington, D.C. And it is for a group called Love Across America, is who sponsored it. I guess they've done others before where they take an image, run it through basically a pixelator kind of a program, and two double crochets equals one pixel, basically. And you get a chart. This, um, so this art that's going to be installed is in honor of Kamala Harris. And it's an image of sort of a rainbowish background with her face. Um, very, very simplified, like very blocky, almost cartoonish kind of, just simplified. And over in the rainbowy part of it, it says, I'm speaking with a period after it. And they had 144 of us, I think, that got accepted to participate. We're each making these 24 by 24 inch squares in whatever our shape is, some, or whatever our design is. Some people have an entirely plain one color. Other people have different sorts of lines. Some of them have three, three colors. I don't think I've seen any with more than three colors so far. Most of them are pretty simple because the end thing is going to be the size of a billboard. So every square is pretty big and it's still just a very small piece of the end installation. So the installation is going to take place National Women's Day? March 8th, I think? 6th? Something like that. Um, I will share more details when we know them, but I don't know them right now. They're still, um, things are still being firmed up, but I'm excited to participate. That's what I bought the acrylic yarn for. They required acrylic yarn, which is probably because of weather and things like that. It will be all, the pieces will all get mailed to Virginia, I think. I have to do that like today or tomorrow, which is no small thing from where I am because I have to pass it to somebody who goes back and forth to the States. He's an American citizen who lives here. His dad and his parents are from here, and he will take it to the States and mail it from the post office that, where they have a P.O. box there, because there's no real mail here. <laughs> like, the only way you can do mail is to take it back to the States. Pay somebody, usually. But I'm going to send my thing off, and I'm pretty excited. They're going to, um, they will sew them all together and mount them on, mount it on a big frame when it's all stretched and mounted on a, put it up on a billboard, apparently in DC because Kamala, it was going to be in LA, but Kamala Harris's team heard something about the project and decided it would be better in DC. So they secured locations to make it happen. And I'm pretty tickled to be a part of it because a lot of times I hear about public art things like this, public fiber art things like this. I hear of them when they're mounted, when they're unveiled, when they're finished. 
and I don't seem to hear about them often enough to get in on the action. I've done it a couple of times, like the knit the bridge thing in Pittsburgh when you, Leo, were a little kid. We got in on that. I've done a couple of other smaller kind of projects like that, but I'm pretty tickled to be a part of this one. I, I, that's something I can get on board with. So it was fun. I'm happy to have done it. And there's a project gone, which is cool since pretty much every other project I have been working on, I've either like run out of yarn or messed up or stabbed myself and bled all over it or, or in some other way, like not brought it to completion. So I'm, I'm going to get back to work on some of my other things and try to make some progress because basically I keep messing up or finding problems and then I'm like well I'll just stick that in a bag and deal with it another time <laughs> so the other time is coming soon